what's up guys it's cover code here and in today's video i'm going to be teaching you the absolute basics on how to use roblox studio now let's not waste any time and get right to it now the first thing you actually need to do is download roblox studio so i have a link in the description below taking you to the page i am currently on and this will pretty much show you a summary of roblox studio what you can actually do with the roblox platform and a few quotes from, from some uh, famous developers here who have actually had a lot of success and pretty much this is the wiki link so if you have any questions about roblox or the api this is where you'd go to and you have two buttons here start creating and start creating right here okay and if you click on this it will take you to, to the uh, download page for roblox studio and you just have to open that up, you know, same as installing any other program you've had before. And then all you need to do is open it up. So now we're just going to transition to Roblox Studio. Okay, so the first time you actually open Roblox Studio, it's going to ask you guys to log in. But after you log in, assuming you remember your credentials, okay, this is the page that you're going to see. And what these are, are basically templates for you to use if you've never made a game before. So if you don't know how to make... 3D models like houses, cars, and stuff like that. These are just things to help you jumpstart your game making career. But for the purposes of this tutorial, guys, I'm only going to be using the base plate template here. So this is just basically plain, barren, sort of uh, nothingness, essentially. And there are also a few different uh, buttons here, but I'll let you guys explore those on your own. I'm just going to click on this base plate button here and open up our very first game. And this is what you're roughly going to see when you open up your game. Now, the tabs might not be here. Your studio might be white if you're using the default theme. However, this is roughly what you should be seeing. Okay, so you should have a um, blank base plate here. Okay, and you've got some tabs or none at all. Okay. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to actually get the dark theme because I know most of you are going to be asking that. So just go to file, okay? Click on studio settings and click on the studio tab right there. Scroll down until you find this general sub tab. Click on the team and click on dark. And that is how you get the dark team. Now, basics, okay? You can actually move around on Roblox Studio using the WASD keys just like any other game. So WASD, like that, is going to move you around Roblox Studio. If you press Q, you're going to sort of go forward, and if you press E, you're going to go backwards, okay? And if you hold the right mouse button, you can actually look around. So that's the basic of, like, basics of navigating Roblox Studio. Now, let me actually show you how to make a few tabs. So if you're following tutorials and you don't have the same exact tabs that they have open, I'm going to show you guys how to make those visible, okay? So the primary way you would do this is by clicking the view button up here. And here you have a wide array of tabs that you can actually make visible. So all you would do is just click on this, for example, and it made this tab visible. If you want to move this around, just click, hold on the title area right here, and this will move around the, the tab. If you want to uh, like sort of anchor this somewhere like this, you're just going to drag this on any area of your screen actually and release and it will put that there, okay? But I just prefer this down here because, you know, just personal preference. Another way to actually view tabs is by going on the model tab here and clicking on these. Now, the only one that you actually need is the insert objects tab right here okay this will actually allow you to insert things into your game especially if you're building or scripting so now let's actually use this and you know create our first part now if you don't know what the part is i have a tutorial on how you can actually build on roblox so go check that out however this is just basically a sort of piece that you use to build on roblox and if you click on this and click on this move tool here, so go to the model tab, click on the move tool, you have one, two, three, four, five different uh, tools that you can use for basic building purposes. You have the select tool here, which you just select things with and click your left mouse button, hold it down and just move things around. You have the move tool, which allows you to move things in different directions, okay, like this. You also have the scale tool, which allows you to resize 
parts, models, etc. Okay, like this. And you also have the rotate tool, which allows you to rotate things in different directions as well. Okay, like this. You can actually modify the, you know, by how much you move things and rotate things by modifying these values here. Again, I have a tutorial on building, so if you want to actually get you know, more familiar with the building aspect of Roblox Studio, then I would suggest watching that. Now, another useful thing is if you just click on the select tool, go to the home tab and select anything you guys want in your game, okay, you're going to get these three options highlighted. We have the copy, cut and duplicate, okay? These are just different ways you can actually uh, clone things in your game. So if I right click, these will also show up here. So, you know, pretty basic cut, paste, uh, duplicate, and you actually just duplicate a part, move that around, just like that. So pretty basic stuff. Again, as I said, if you want to actually learn about building, I have a video on that. Link will be in the description below. However, let's move on to the more interesting stuff. So if you click any object, ideally a part, okay, and click on this material tool here, you're actually going to be prompted, okay, so click this arrow here, you're actually going to be prompted with this selection sort of list here, so you can actually change the material of an object, okay, so if I want it to be marble, as you guys can see, I just made that marble, okay, and you can play around with this all you want, but I'm just showing you the basics of Roblox Studio. Now, you also have the option to color things, so if you click on this, um, you, you actually be shown this limited color wheel and you can actually just choose a color of your choice and I'm just going to choose red and that's how you color things on Roblox. A more sophisticated uh, method of doing this is actually clicking on a part or a model or whatever you guys want and make sure you can actually see properties, okay? And this is pretty much a list of things describing that object which you just clicked on um, and again, you would use this if you were coloring stuff, uh, you know, changing the material right here, changing the transparency of that. You know, this is just a more sophisticated way to, you know, modify the things in your game. Now, one of the most handy things around is the anchor tool. So right now, if you just go to the properties, you can see that it is not anchored. Now, if I move this up, okay and i run the game and what i mean by run is imagine someone joins your game that's what happens when you run the game okay so if i click play like that going to load me into my own game okay and as you guys can see this fell down and that is because it's not anchored so if i select this and i move it up it's going to fall right back down um Okay, so a bit of a technical difficulty there, my PC just froze, but um, if you just move that up, it's going to fall right back down. If you're anchored, it's toggled off. So if you stop that, okay, and get back to the studio view, click on the object again and click anchored, okay? And this time when you join back again, it will not, um, you know, it will not fall down again. So essentially you're just anchoring things in place, that's why it's called anchor. Now. Uh, the other tool is lock. So see how I can actually select this tool right here if I lock it by clicking on the part and then Clicking on the lock. Okay, like that and just go to try and select that again I won't be able to select this or click on it. Okay, but I will be able to, to select something which is not locked Now the way you'd actually go about unlocking it is just clicking on this lock tool over here click on the part that you want to unlock and there you go, now it's unlocked and you can actually select this and move it around once more. Now one of the most fun things in Roblox Studio is the terrain editor, okay? So if you just go to the home tab, click on this editor button here, you'll actually see this tab, okay? So let me just put this here just for ease of views and these pretty much, like this tool allows you to make terrain. So let me show you this to you guys. So you have three tabs, create, region and edit. Click on the generate button to generate some terrain. I'm just going to scroll down and click generate. I don't care what type of terrain it makes. And as you guys can see, it's actually making the terrain for me. Okay, so if you ever want to make a map with terrain, this is the way you do it. Now, obviously, don't do it so carelessly like I did, because um, it actually allows you to change the, the properties of the terrain. So if you don't want hills, then you toggle that off. But I just, you know, I just clicked yes, um, and I just made the terrain. 
Now, the other things, like the edit tab here, what that does is it also shows you a multitude of tools, okay, which you can actually use to modify and sculpt your terrain. Let me just show you a few of these and then you can just go on studio and mess with this yourselves. Uh, so just click add and this will actually add terrain on your, well, whatever you want really. Um, subtract, subtract the terrain, pretty self-explanatory. So if you want to make a tunnel, that's the way you do it. Uh, grow, just, you know, grows things out of the ground. So if I want this to be slightly bigger, that's the way you do it. Erode, the absolute opposite of that. So just digs essentially. Smooth, you know, it smoothens things out. And the rest, you can just play around with. Okay, so let's just close the terrain tool. That's just, you know, the region tool does something similar. You just select the region and you move it around, similar to the move tools, but for terrain. Okay, so that's what that does pretty much. Now, one of the fun things, uh, the more fun things on Roblox Studio is actually the toolbox. So just go to view uh, toolbox and this is pretty much a selection like of, how do I say this? It's a selection of things that people made for you to use. So if you want a house and you don't know how to make a house, just search up house and it'll load up a selection of houses that people made for you to use. So you just drag those in like that and bam, you have a house in your game. And obviously you can do this for pretty much anything. So if you want a horse or something, type up horse and you drag the horse into your game just like that. And that's how you use the toolbox. Now I've already covered a part of this, but if you want to test out your game, so if you're learning how to script and you want to test your script, or if you just want to test out your game, if you're building, you just click this play button here, okay? Now, you can either play here, which essentially spawns you where your camera is. You just play, which will spawn you where the default spawn location for you guys is. And you can just print, I mean, just uh, press run. So what run does is, well, this. It spawns you in camera view essentially so you don't actually spawn with your character the game actually you know uh, runs but your character is not there you just move around with your camera okay so and the way you'd actually go around uh to stopping this is just click stop okay so that's how you stop your little playtest. and now the final most important thing is you actually need to publish your game so you might have made changes in your game inside of roblox studio that's fine However, they will not actually be registered by a registered. I mean, if someone's playing your game, they won't actually see the changes live. You have to update the game um, using something in Roblox Studio. And the way you do that is just clicking this file button here and just press publish to Roblox or publish to Roblox as I'm just going to say publish to Roblox. And this is going to pretty much ask you to make a new game. And if you've already published the game, then that's just going to publish the game and not show you this window. And this is just a few like properties which you can modify about your game. Um, you know, pretty basic information, you know, what devices you want your game to be available on, what genre the game is, and you know, who the creator is. And you're just gonna write a brief description about your game here if you want. And you just click create and your game would be published. And that, guys, is how you use Roblox Studio. Just the very basics. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, leave comments in the comment section down below suggesting what videos I should make next. And I'll see you guys next time.